once upon a time there were two people who were dancing <laughs> they were dancing with a football in their hand yes football dances and then one person was very red in color and that person passed the football to the other person the other person was black in color and then the black person again <laughs> gave the football to the person in red and this dance was going on and the more the red person was throwing the ball to the black person the more the black person was throwing the ball back to the red person so it was a competition who throws with more velocity who throws with more enthusiasm who throws with more fire with more power with more vigor with more passion but eventually what happened that game became so intense that the football was ripped apart completely and then they couldn't play the game anymore <laughs> so does it sound like somebody did did any of you understand what i meant just now yes so if you have understood or if you did not understand then watch this video so what happened was once this red person he was mars and the black person he was saturn so they were playing this game now what is that football that football is very interesting that football is actually we <laughs> people like you me and everybody else that we see around so that's how it happens mars and saturn keeps dancing in our horoscopes okay so today we will see how to get rid of this dance of mars and saturn all right so there you go if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it and if you want a consultation from me then you can go down to my website below in the description section okay and before i say and begin anything as i always say god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you get rid of the dance of mars and saturn because when they dance everything falls apart <laughs> it is like the dance of shiva when he dances the world is annihilated all right so what happens is these are two peculiar planets one is mars and the other is saturn and <clears throat> both of them cause each other to play which means what happens actually what is mars basically people say mars is anger passion and all this but the question is what do we do with mars mars is simply that pleasure which you get when you defeat somebody that pleasure when you win over somebody yes when you expose your authority onto somebody sun is the authority but when you exert it to the fullest on somebody that's what is mars that is why he is the general of the army because many times the king doesn't go to fight the general goes to fight so ge the general is exerting the authority of the king king is the sun sun is you your individual independent existence so when you are exerting that authority to the fullest that's what mars is and then what is saturn saturn is the sorrow of the one who has been defeated by mars <laughs> so suppose i go and defeat somebody then i am behaving like mars so i get a lot of pleasure there yes i defeated that person i smashed that person phod ke rakh diya usko and then that person is feeling as if i am good for nothing i am useless i am a piece of garbage everything is gone everything is finished everything is over that person is feeling the power of saturn so now what happens is lord krishna says in the gita that brahma bhuta prasanna atma na sochati na kankshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhaktim labhate param lord krishna says very distinctly that when the spiritual life begins brahma bhuta prasanna atma one who is situated in brahma bhuta in spiritual consciousness na sochati na kankshati hankering and lamentation so lamentation is what saturn represents okay lamentation means 
oh i lost my job i lost money i lost my boyfriend i lost my girlfriend i lost my husband i lost my wife i lost my father i lost my mother i lost my daughter i lost my son i lost my best friend <laughs> when you are crying helplessly because you cannot change something which happened in the past that is what is lamentation when you have realized that something which you wanted will never ever ever happen that's what is lamentation and then the other side hankering hankering means i want this i want this i want i want i want 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 that's what hankering is so both are like the coin two sides of the same coin because in this world everybody is doing either of the two things you see the life of any person in general they will be doing one of the two things from the morning till the night they will either hanker oh today you know this meeting is there i have to go and uh, prove myself otherwise my colleagues will get uh, promoted earlier than me if i don't prove myself then maybe i get fired if i do not that performance anxiety is there or oh i need to exceed my competitors in business yes they have launched this product i will launch my product now whatever it is either job or business it is competition everywhere or the person is lamenting oh damn if only that would have happened if only this would have not happened aisa hota to kitna acha hota aisa nahi hota to kitna acha hota yes hankering and lamentation so lamentation is saturn and hankering is mars basically wherever saturn is sitting in your chart whichever houses it is ruling and whichever houses it is aspecting there can be situations in life where we have to lament for all those things depending on the whole chart of course and wherever mars is sitting or whichever houses Mar mars is ruling or whichever houses mars is aspecting those houses can have a flavor of constant desire to get something hankering hankering ye chahiye wo chahiye ye bhi chahiye wo bhi chahiye sab chahiye <laughs> and it's not that rahu type of craving it's not that rahu type of uh, hankering it's hankering in general rahu is about uh, desires which are not permitted by the scriptures or those desires which degrade our consciousness but eventually mars is also representing the energy of tamas so that also represents things which degrade us so now the thing is how do mars and saturn dance now it's a very difficult question to answer which happens first okay but either ways if you consider that first saturn comes saturn comes means suppose somebody comes in challenges you and that person defeats you then what happens you have felt the power of saturn now you are sitting and crying that you have been humiliated insulted etc now what you want to do is you want to give saturn to that person so now you become mars mars is the tendency of revenge inside us badla lenge <laughs> i will prove it to the universe that <laughs> yes trying to pull somebody down unnecessarily or necessarily also playing games these are all under domains of mars yes gossiping they say is mercury but actually it is a mixture of mars and mercury because when you are gossiping about somebody what you are trying to do you are basically trying to pull that person down you are trying to denigrate that person right that's what mars is <laughs> that's why it's a tamasic planet because all those qualities which mars represent when come when it comes out in a negative area that can completely shatter our spiritual progress and mars also represents anger and the scriptures contain examples time and again when when where how anger had demolished the spiritual quotient of somebody the entire spiritual progress is lost because of lust and anger okay 
so now then what happens is you get saturn then you say okay i will give mars now to that person then again saturn comes to you then again you give mars this is how the cycle keeps repeating yes this is what the dance is so sometimes we get defeated and we are miserable and then we defeat somebody and we are enjoying but as i said in the beginning of the video in the due course the football is totally shattered which means we get shattered completely so anybody who is desiring to be happy in this world either materially or spiritually has to get rid of this tendency of mars because otherwise saturn will not spare you because the more you give suffering to somebody the more you get suffering all right so once upon a time when i was doing my masters here in germany then uh, in my class there was a seminar group where individually people had to present different uh, seminars and then there was one girl from new delhi india the capital of the holy land of india of course <laughs> and no offense to people of delhi now here okay and there was another girl from china so what happened was this girl from delhi she went to give her seminar presentation and this girl from china she just casually at the end of the seminar like everybody does she asked one question which this girl from delhi could not reply so ideally she should have said this is what i can answer i don't know more than this but what she was trying to do this girl from delhi she was acting very smart what she did was she was trying to play around and prove that she knows the answer but actually everybody knew that she doesn't know the answer and the moderator came to know that she is just answering things which she doesn't know it's very easy to identify if you have some knowledge of that subject and then this girl from china she was confused that i am asking her something else why is she answering something else so then she countered her answer and she asked uh, another counter question to her answer to her question and then this girl from delhi she got more agitated then she again countered her with some baseless arguments and then what happened this was going on for around 7 to 8 minutes and then the moderator said enough of it we don't have time now next presentation all right <laughs> and these two girls did not have any enmity also i mean they were not enemies before uh, they were having their presentations i mean the girl from delhi had her presentation but then what to do that's how she behaved so then what happened was as the seminar got over after the class this girl from delhi she came to me and said wow <laughs> look the way she humiliated me and i was like when did she humiliate you she just asked you a question why do you take things so personally but then she said that no no i know this girl from day one she is against me and i am like i am also there in this seminar how do you come to that conclusion that from day one she is against you what did she do in the past oh no one day she did this she did that blah 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 she gave 10 reasons to prove it why how she uh, was a victim of this chinese girl and then she said you bloody chinese let your turn come i will ask you questions that nobody can answer <laughs> yes that's what mars says so she felt that she has received saturn which means some kind of humiliation which nobody told her she only assumed that she has been humiliated so many times it happens even in mahabharat we have the example that when bhishma pitama went to gandhar and said to maharaj subal that i want dhritarashtra and gandhari to be married and then gandhari when she heard that dhritarashtra is going to be my husband and she knew that dhritarashtra cannot see so she took a cloth and she wrapped it around her eyes and she said okay if my husband cannot see then i will also not see equality <laughs> but then her brother shakuni he took it as an offense oh why will you marry my sister to a person who cannot see andha 
to a blind person why will you marry my sister this is insult this is humiliation this is denigration of gandha you cannot do it but in front of bhishma pitama he could not speak that so this is another example that who is getting married the lady she has no problem marrying a blind person but you unnecessarily take it as an offense so this girl from china what did she do nothing she just asked a question and if this girl from delhi could answer then she should have said okay that this is all i know but she intrinsically assumed that she has to prove to everybody that i am the most knowledgeable person in the class so she ended up beating around the bush as in asmis they say sale bara kubua in asmis there is another saying no now will let ting up run around it means that the flood has reached so high that you are going to die now but still you will not jump from your roof because you say no no i am protected here <laughs> so then what happened is uh, this chinese girl her term term came for the presentation and then uh, this girl from delhi she was ready with her set of missiles which she will ask and then what happens sometimes we have big plans to humiliate somebody else yes. like uh, shakuni had plans to humiliate yudhishthir maharaj to humiliate arjuna humiliate draupadi to humiliate lord krishna also along with duryodhana uh, karna and dushasan yes these four culprits always organized and hatched schemes against the pandavas but at the end what happened all their efforts in vain <laughs> Ultimately, the Pandavas were victorious, and Yudhishthir Maharaj was coronated as the emperor of the entire universe. So, this tendency of revenge, unnecessary revenge, justice is different. Something bad has happened to you, then you go and seek justice. That's fine. That's understood, and that is what is there in the Mahabharat also. Lord Krishna said to Draupadi that whoever has insulted you, they will not be spared. They will die. <laughs> and that's what happened all these culprits they perished but still the pandavas like yudhishthir maharaj and arjun they never harbored any malice in their heart against the evil kauravas they never did that yes yudhishthir maharaj always wanted that we will rule together but duryodhana did not want that he did not like this so he always tried to assert the authority of yudhishthir maharaj So, anyways, then what happened was uh, this Chinese girl. Her turn came, and she gave the presentation. And then later on, this girl from Delhi, she started asking questions. And like Shakuni's efforts used to backfire always, all of her questions were very intelligently handled and answered to the point by this Chinese girl. <laughs> Long live China! <laughs> and this girl from delhi she was completely shattered at least she felt like this yes because she thought that she was humiliated and now she could not humiliate her okay so that is why her pride was completely shattered and then after the class i was talking to her and she was like yeah the presentation was nice blah 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 <laughs> so when you can't defeat somebody you just don't say anything right that's the technique these days <laughs> so the more we want to give mars to others the more we get saturn so the more we give suffering the more we get suffering and whatever suffering we are getting now is because of our own karma because lord brahma says in the shrimad bhagavatam tate nu kampam susumikshamano bhunjana evatma kritam vipakam नमस्ते जीवे तयो मुक्ति पदे सदा भाग तत्ते अनुकम्पाम सुसुमिक्षमानो इट मींस दैट वॉट एवर डिफिकल्टीज ही इज गिविंग दिस प्रेयर टू लॉर्ड विष्णु ही सेंग वॉट एवर डिफिकल्टीज ओ माय डियर लॉर्ड कम्स इन द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ स्पिरिचुअल लाइफ यू नो दोज आर जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ माय ओन कार्मा नो एल्स इज टू बी ब्लेम सो if we have been humiliated by somebody first of all we have to understand that uh, it is our own karma that we are just 
enjoying or suffering now all right so we have to shift our focus from the instrument of karma to ourselves so generally people say because of that person because of this person i am suffering so when you say that what happens is you do not take responsibility for your own karma okay and then what happens is you you distance yourself from your karma and you say that there is something external which i cannot change because of which i am suffering now but actually it is not like that everybody in this universe they will only act in a way that fulfills your karma they are not acting uh, independently always remember this if somebody has done something to you then it is within the boundary of your karma nobody can give you any suffering which is not there in your karma all right so that is what happens when these two planets dance you hanker you lament you hanker you lament this is what is going on so we need to get rid of the tamasic tendencies of mars all right mars has good qualities like brahmacharya celibacy preserving the semen then uh, it has a ability to carry on in spiritual life alone without the help of the opposite sex yes that's a great blessing which mars can give so if we cultivate the good qualities of mars and if we stay away from the negativities of mars especially violence starts from the plate first of all so if we are eating meat then it is highly recommended that we give it up completely 100% and even if we can't then we reduce it to once in a week then gradually to once in a month then once in six months and then once in a year and then why to do it once in a year <laughs> all right so because if we are participating in violence then that violence will come back to us in some form or the other in some way the energy will come back okay because we have not given life to somebody the animals so we do not have right to take their lives and even if we are not taking their lives if we are eating the meat then we are participating by supporting those people who are killing them all right so by that we are also part of that karma so first of all is we should not indulge in eating meat that's horrendous for our spiritual progress that will degrade us because tamaguna increases very much because meat is full of tamaguna because when animals are killed they are in a precarious state imagine when somebody tries to kill you how you will be running imagine the level of stress and anxiety that is there in your head so when we eat that that consciousness also comes to us and scientifically you can prove it sometimes you cannot prove it that's not important the important point is the principle has to be understood that we cannot go on recklessly killing animals and eating them and then expect that things will be great and many people will not like to hear this and they will bash me in the comments or they will mail me or in whatsapp or in facebook well you have been doing that from last two years and you will be doing it for the rest of the uh, the time eternity to come <laughs> but what i want to say i will always say and if somebody doesn't like to hear that then i can't help it because that's my duty to tell what is going to benefit you and not just cheat you by saying okay just do whatever you want you know everything is fine no it doesn't work like that all right and apart from that we have to uh, we have to forgive people we have to learn to forgive because if we do not forgive people god will not forgive us should i repeat if we do not forgive people god doesn't forgive us we pray to god sometimes oh god please forgive me you know i did this i did that but then god will check how many people have you forgiven if you have only not given forgiveness then how can i forgive you <laughs> okay so we do not have any witness that time and we should not harbor envy malice and all these different traits trying to pull somebody down trying to do uh, doing gossip all the time so when we abstain from such stuff and focus on the good qualities of mars as i said earlier then saturn will be far away from us then saturn cannot trouble us he cannot torment us either it's your saturn dasha antar dasha maha dasha conjunction or any yoga of saturn he's only tormenting you because you have 
exposed Mars to somebody else. Always remember this. Shani doesn't torment anybody. He just gives you what you have. All right. There you go. This is the dance of Mars and Saturn. <laughs> okay. And do not get destroyed yourself because as I said, the football is ripped off completely. It's ripped apart and the football is damaged. So you get damaged when you keep fighting these games. You know, oh, he did this, she did this. I will do this. I will do that. Yes doesn't uh, work that way unfortunately no fortunately <laughs> because if it would have worked that way then everybody would have been destroyed okay so there you go if you're new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation then go down to my link below okay until next time god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him bye bye see you